Hi, I'm Jody Julia with another quick lesson. This quick lesson today is going to be on the Creative Mark mural line of brushes. The thing I want to be able to stress to you is that although they're all at the same price point, they are designed to do specifically different things. Whether it's going to be the natural bristle, which is a white bristle, chunking, a golden tackline bristle, or a white nylon bristle. Now listen closely because we've got some dividing up to do. Of either type of bristle, it's made in a flat, a filbert, or a round shape. Of each shape, there are three specific sizes. An example of the 30 round, the 40 size round, or the 50 size round. Now, of course, whether it's white bristle, it's made in all three sizes. The white nylon, all three sizes, or the golden tacklon brush, all three sizes. Now, the flats and filberts are the same way. There's a 30, 40, and 50 in the size of filbert, and there's a 30, 40, and 50 in the flats. Filberts, flats, rounds, bristles, golden tacklon, white nylon. You can denote them by the tips of the brush. If it's a natural bristle brush, it'll have the black tip. Golden tacklon are the white tip, where the red tip one are the used for the white nylon brushes. The quality of the spring of the brushes is the next thing I want to discuss. Natural bristle, the white bristle, chunking, is very absorbent because it is a natural, whereas these are synthetic. Synthetic bristle brushes tend to hold their shape better than a natural bristle brush, but a natural bristle brush holds a lot more paint in the belly of the brush. See, if you took a brush and broke down the anatomy of the brush, you have the handle, you have the ferrule, this is the belly, and the tip. Now, I really use a lot of the white nylon, especially, this is a 30, I use especially the 50, the larger ones, in my paintings because I tend to paint large. If we can look over here, you'll see in this large size painting, I've used the white bristle brush because I want to record strokes with it. That it will do, whereas the natural bristles will lend itself for doing these brush stroke recordings that you'll see in the painting. Plus, it's a little bit tougher. I can scrum into the painting, really grind the painting back in, into the canvas. These nylon bristles are a lot more softer. I will not paint so much like this, I tend to use them more on an angle for glazing or varnishing techniques. Excellent for doing that. The golden tacklon lies somewhere in between the natural bristle and the white nylon. It's a general, all-purpose, really rugged brush. It'll actually, I can take it for using actually in watercolors if I was doing large watercolors on paper, but I can also use it for large acrylic paintings like what I do. So you've got the natural bristle, the golden tacklon, and the white nylon. Glazing, all purpose, and recording brush strokes. You can use any combination of these, but because it is a shorter handle than regular longer handles, that mural brush is going to be gripped more in here for working close up and actually spreading out when you're doing large mural paintings. You're going to paint close, step back, look at what you're doing. I love the thick handles too because it gives me a little bit more control, especially when I'm using a lot of energy doing an action painting. So if you're going to be doing some murals or either large canvases, I'm going to suggest to you to try out the golden tacklon, the white nylon, or the bristle of the uh, Creative Mark line of mural brushes. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Quick Lesson. I'm Joe DiGiulio. I'll see you next time.